On behalf of the St. Joseph's Health Foundation, we offer our greetings and wish you good health as we kick off the 2020 Gala. We are proud to be serving as this year's St. Joseph's Health Foundation Gala co-chairs in what has certainly been a year like no other. 2020 will forever be recognized as the year that threw us into the, one of the most significant healthcare events of our lifetime as we responded to the global coronavirus pandemic. But despite the many, many challenges associated with the pandemic, we are pleased to be holding this annual event to benefit St. Joseph's Health. While we certainly miss the opportunity to see all of our friends and colleagues who traditionally attend the gala, we know you are with us and will continue the giving tradition of the St. Joseph's Health family. Good evening. I have two roles to play tonight. First, on behalf of all the Sisters of Charity of St. Elizabeth, and second, the St. Joseph Board of Trustees. For all of us, I want to offer our thanks for being with us at such a critical time in our organization's history. Over our proud 153 years of service to the communities of New Jersey, we have overcome many obstacles to keep our mission alive and well. And this year, 2020, has brought us yet another historical event to test our faith and values, but our commitment has never wavered. Without exception, we rose up and met the challenge head on and are continuing to meet it. With your help and your support, we will persist in besting this challenge. Thank you for your generosity. The people of St. Joseph's were, without question, the critical difference in responding to this pandemic. At every facility, on every floor, in every department, they overcame the odds and pushed through enormous difficulties to save lives. In my entire career, I've never witnessed such commitment and resilience. Our St. Joseph's family was the difference in beating back this virus, as it took personal courage and fortitude to step up while others were stepping away. They truly are our healthcare heroes. Just as with previous outbreaks and health emergencies over history, the medical community has banded together, unified around one goal, saving lives. From providing direct patient care to hospitalized patients, to leading full-scale public health operations, our St. Joseph's healthcare givers have been front and center, working around the clock to protect the health and well-being of our friends and neighbors. My colleagues continue to amaze me, even while an overwhelming majority of them have never dealt with anything of such magnitude during their careers. In fact, it's probably more accurate to say none of us have. Throughout history, nurses have played a major role during times of crisis providing care and innovation that has saved lives and reduced suffering. This brutal COVID-19 outbreak has been no different. We have lived through a historical international health crisis in 2020, a pandemic that has now touched every aspect of our society. And today, as the entire world is grappling with the impact of the coronavirus pandemic, nurses are at the front lines. They have been clinically challenged, physically exhausted, and emotionally drained. But they continue on and continue to care and heal all in need. We are so proud of our team members for answering that call. Hello, my name is Dr. James Prue. I've been here at St. Joseph's since 1982. I've been here because of the wonderful work St. Joe's does in so many different areas. I've been here because St. Joe's constantly strives to offer services across the whole gamut of healthcare to everyone, including those that may not be able to get it anywhere else. I've been here because of the way we see our fellow employees as family, beyond the clinical services alone, from housekeeping to dietary to security to telecommunications and so many other areas. And I am here right now because of the awesome work done by this healthcare team to keep me alive during my severe illness with COVID-19. And you, you are here because sometime or other, you found it in your heart 
to make a contribution to St. Joseph's. So I am asking you to see if you can't find that place in your heart again and offer what you can to help us continue the work and the mission of this wonderful institution. Thank you very much.